My uncle actually had passed away from lymphoma, and that's how I got interested in sort of the cancer field. Knowing myself, I knew I couldn't go to school for 13 years. I just didn't want to, <laughs> to become an oncologist. And like, I have a lot of other life goals I'd like to reach, so I was kind of on one of those collegeboard.org things where it's like, plug in all these things you like, and I love patient care, I love technology, I love science, and you know, sort of just that being able to heal somebody and help them when they're going through something so difficult. And it popped up radiation therapy. I looked into all the programs near me, and when I found Lab Array, I really liked it because I really like small class sizes. I like having a professor that knows my first name, knows my last name, will text me. <laughs> it's basically why I chose it. It just really fit me and my goals, and I thought I'd do well here. The Lab Array students are always the strongest clinically. Even kids I've talked to that go to other big name schools in Massachusetts, they're like, wow, you really get to spend that much time in the hospital? Or like, you're already in hospitals? And I'm like, yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> it's great to get that hands-on experience and to really know what you're doing. It, it beats just sitting in a classroom and listening to someone talk about it by far. And what I love about the clinical is that, you know, there are real people there. You know, it makes a difference. You know, you could even do it in a simulator classroom and it's not the same as when you have real people. And not everyone walks in and sits on the table is perfect. You know, sometimes you have to, how's your day going so far? And you know, they sit down and they're like, oh, you know, I don't know if I can today. And you sort of have to be someone's cheerleader and their therapist and you have to listen to them. I feel like when I go into the field, there will be basically no surprises. A student, that's like your biggest fear is that you're gonna seem incompetent once you graduate. And it's like, what'd you go to school for? But I know that once I get out there, it's just gonna be the same, the same stuff.